Bill, you came. I was beginning to think no one would show up. I guess everyone else is busy. Looks like it's just the two of us. <laughs> Sounds like you two could use a little chaos. Professor Chaos, you came to help too? Wow, that's pretty unexpected. I mean, I guess villains aren't all that bad. No, I'm still pretty bad. I just wanted to try out my new super villain lightning simulator. Pretty cool, huh? Look, up there! It's coming right for us! Everybody take it! Everybody take it! Everybody take it! Keep, keep the fuck out of the way! the most amazing hero entrance I've ever seen. Well, it wasn't that cool. He didn't even have lightning. It is I, your old pal, Mintberry Crunch. I picked up your distress call from the berry mines of my home planet. I've come to offer my assistance. Awesome. Well, now that we have a team, let's get to business. As of 0600 this morning, on the second day of camp, all the counselors mysteriously went missing. That is quite mysterious. Do you suspect something dastardly is afoot? No, my feet are fine. But I did find this. It's a blood trail leading through the camp. If we follow it, it may lead us to the missing counselors. I don't know. Following up trail of blood seems pretty dangerous. You're right. It's dangerous and not very smart. Luckily, we have Butthole to lead the way. Look, it's not blood. It's red paint. Why would someone make a trail of red paint? To lead us into a trap. <laughs> Rah, monsters! It's an ambush. There's too many of them. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't know, but I bet it has something to do with the missing counselors. My alien powers have little effect on the enemy. I must be weak from my intergalactic travels. Your planet calls it jet lag. Butthole, oh, it's up to you. You must look within your butt and find the strength to save us all. No pressure. That's it, Butthole. You found the power of the final girl. Now we can fight our way out of here. Off. Well done, heroes. Another battle won in the war against evil and oppression. Butthole, your fighting style reminds me of the girl that doesn't die at the end of horror movies. Good work. But I'm afraid this is only the beginning. Dr. Timothy, what is it? What's wrong? Meet me in the mess hall kitchen. There's something you all need to see. I found one of the counselors. I'm afraid he's dead. Are you sure he's dead? Maybe he's just sleeping. No, he's super dead. I poked him with a stick. Oh crap, this is not good. If all the other counselors end up dead, the camp will definitely get shut down. We'll have to find them before that happens. I'll use my psychic powers to search for the other counselors, and call you when I find something. Well, what do we do now? We need to search the entire camp. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Good idea. Hey, man, you hired us to dress up like monsters and scare a bunch of kids. You didn't say nothing about no dead counselors. I can't go back to jail, man. Did you kill the camp counselors? No, man, I swear. It wasn't me. Then you have nothing to worry about. Now go back out there and do what I fucking paid you to do. I want this camp shut down by sunup. You understand? Okay, man, relax. I I'll do it. You better, or I'll call your parole officer and tell him you made me get naked and watch Kevin Spacey movies. You fucking sicko. Mimsy! Ah, uh, yeah, boss? Mimsy, I thought I told you to just tie up the camp counselors. I did, boss, just like you said. I tied them up real good so they couldn't escape, just like in that movie Saw. Saw? You fucking asshole. I didn't want you to kill them. Ah, uh, gee, you didn't. Sorry, boss. I always getting stuff wrong, huh? It doesn't matter. As long as we got Lake Tardy Kaka shut down, so we never have to come to this stupid camp again. Just make sure that asshole Jimmy doesn't screw things up. Okay, new kid, drink the elixir, and then fart on us. Your fart should make it smell so bad that those Indian spirits won't want to come near us. That's your plan? Oh, you ain't seen nothing about getting farted on. It's the only way. Do it, new kid. <laughs> okay, we should be good to go. Son of a bitch! The counselor's dead! Ah, oh, we did all that work for nothing! We failed this person! We cannot fail again! Let's go, heroes! Oh, thank God! Someone's here! Please help us! We were just, uh, wrestling with our clothes off and someone attacked us from behind! When we woke up, we were tied to these... things! If we move, these blades will drop down and kill us very slowly and painfully. Kind of like in those Saw movies. You have to figure out a way to get us out of here! Please! Hurry, there's a timer and it's running out! We only have a couple minutes left. Don't let us die like this. Ah, uh, come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna tie you up and throw you in the water. No! I don't wanna get my hair wet. Somebody help! Look, it's the last counselor, and she's alive. We can still save the camp. 
You almost ruined my plans, Jimmy. But luckily, I know how to improvise. All I have to do is get rid of the last counselor, and the authorities will shut down the camp. And my nightmare will finally be over. Oh my goodness! It looks like the monsters have possessed Nathan, and are using him to shut down the camp. We have to stop them! Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Where are the other counselors? Are they okay? No, they're all dead. What? Yes, they all died brutal and tragic deaths. But as long as you're alive, we can still have camp. Hooray! Another victory for the good guys! Shablagoo! Not so fast! Hey, it's that kid again! Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Hello, Midbury Crunch! You! What are you doing here? I followed you across the galaxy, Crunch! I've been quietly waiting for the perfect time to strike. The perfect time for... Payback. If you want her, come and get her! Help! No, she's our only chance at staying at camp. We have to save her again. Timmy, Timmy, can you hear us? What's that thing on his head? It appears to be sinking with his mind. <laughs> there she is. Kids, help me! Get me out of here! Let her go, you monster! Not so fast. You'll have to get past my minions first. Go get them, minions! Guy called us minions, boss. I don't think we're the main bad guys anymore. Shut up, Mimsy! This is the end for you, Crunch. I'm finally going to get payback for what you did. Come at me, bro! Guy okay, boss? No, I'm not fucking okay! I just got my ass kicked again! Ah! It's waving me! It's waving me! Wow, Nathan. I'm so impressed that you sacrificed your body to save camp. You must really love it here. I hate you, Jimmy. I hate you so much I can feel it pouring out my veins. No, wait, I think that's internal bleeding. <sighs> we did it! We saved Earth from the evil aliens! Well, Tony wasn't actually evil. He was just a lowly slave who worked on my family's very minds on our home planet. Until he escaped. Oh, wait a second. Your family owned his family? Sure. How else do you think we picked all those cotton berries? Cotton berries? So Tony was an alien slave? Yes, and that's why they hated us. For our freedom. But with your help, I beat him like a runaway slave. And now, he's dead. Shablagoo! Wow, that's kind of fucked up. beginning to think no one would show up. I guess everyone else is busy. Looks like it's just the two of us. <laughs> Sounds like you two could use a little... Chaos! Professor Chaos, you came to help too? Wow, that's pretty unexpected. I mean, I guess villains aren't all that bad. No, I'm still pretty bad. I just wanted to try out my new super villain lightning simulator. Pretty cool, huh? Look, up there! It's coming right for us! Everybody take it! Everybody take it! Everybody take it! Keep, keep the fuck out of there! Shablagoo! Wow! That was the most amazing hero entrance I've ever seen! Well, it wasn't that cool. He didn't even have lightning. It is I, your old pal, Midberry Crunch. I picked up your distress call from the berry mines of my home planet. I've come to offer my assistance. Awesome! Well, now that we have a team, let's get to business. As of 0600 this morning, on the second day of camp, all the counselors mysteriously went missing. The mystery of the missing camp counselors. Fear not. Mintberry Crunch is on the job. Great. Let's go inside the camp and look around for Scooby Clues. From the looks of it, the counselors were in the middle of renovating this cabin when they all disappeared. It's not like them to walk away from a camp activity without finishing. Something must have happened. That is quite mysterious. Do you suspect something dastardly is afoot? No, my feet are fine. Keep looking. Maybe we can find something that will put us on their trail. Look, Butthole found a shallow grave and a trail of red paint. This must be where they bury all the empty paint cans when they finish with them. But what does this have to do with the missing counselors? Good question. Maybe we should ask those monsters over there. <coughs> monsters? <coughs> ah, monsters! It's an ambush! Oh my god! 
we're trapped. They're going to kill us all. Butters, get a hold of yourself. We're going to make it out of here. My alien powers have little effect on the enemy. I must be weak from my intergalactic travels. Your planet calls it jet lag. Butthole, it's up to you. You must look within your butt and find the strength to save us all. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, my God. Butthole found the survival power of the final girl in every horror movie ever. Right here in this cabin. What are the chances? Now we can fight our way out. Lead the way, final girl. Yeah, let's kick those monsters' butts. I don't think this is a good idea, Phyllis. Maybe we should just stay here. Jesus. Sack the fuck up, Butters. I found one of the counselors. I'm afraid he's dead. Are you sure he's dead? Maybe he's just sleeping. No, he's super dead. I poked him with a stick. Come on. This is totally fake. Someone's just trying to scare us. First fake monsters, and now a fake body. If this was a real body, then this would be a real eyeball. And this would be real blood. Hmm, this is definitely real blood. Real blood? You mean this is really real? Oh, God. We're all gonna die! We need to find the other counselors before they suffer the same fate. I'm sensing vibrations of psychic trauma in some areas of the camp. I'll send the locations to your phones. All right, we'll cover more ground if we split up. Come on. Hey, man, you hired us to dress up like monsters and scare a bunch of kids. You didn't say nothing about no dead counselors. I can't go back to jail, man. You can't leave now. My plan is almost complete. Go back out there and do what I fucking paid you to do. Or I'll call your parole officer and tell him you made me get naked and watch Kevin Spacey movies. You fucking sicko. Mimsy! Ah, uh, yeah, boss? Mimsy, I thought I told you to just tie up the camp counselors. I did, boss, just like you said. I tied them up real good so they couldn't escape, just like in that movie Saw. Saw? You fucking asshole. I didn't want you to kill them. Ah, uh, gee, you didn't. Sorry, boss. It doesn't matter. As long as we get Lake Tartikaka shut down, so we never have to come to this stupid camp again. Just make sure that asshole Jimmy doesn't screw things up. Okay, boss. I'll hide the boathouse key right here in the cabin. No one's ever gonna find that last counselor. They better not, Mimsy. Meet me at the docks by the canoes later. We have one more loose end to tie up, then camp will be over for good. I, I think it's working. I think... I think... Ah, oh, another dead counselor? Now we're never gonna stop those scary fake monsters. No, nah, looks like that resurrection dirt's only a combat mechanic. Nice try, though. Fear not. We lost the battle, but the war is not over. He's right. There's still time. Come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna tie you up and throw you in the water. No! It's the last counselor, and she's alive. Good work, butthole. Now we still have a chance to save the camp. What are you waiting for, Mimsy? Take care of her. Oh my god, it's Nathan. Butthole, did you see anything in that cabin? Any clues to what's going on here? Nope. Butthole doesn't know anything. You're too late, Jimmy. All I have to do is get rid of the last counselor, and the authorities will shut down the camp. Then my nightmare will finally be over. Oh my god, it looks like some evil spirit possessed Nathan and is using him to shut down the camp. We have to stop them. Come on. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Where are the other counselors? Are they okay? They all died brutal and tragic deaths. But as long as you're alive, we can still save the camp this summer. Hooray! 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 That's right. Because nothing on this planet can stop Lake Tartikaka from being open all summer long. Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Hello, Mint Berry Crunch. You! What are you doing here? I followed your mint tram across the galaxy, Crunch. I've been waiting for the perfect time to strike. The perfect time for... Payback. Leave this place. We shall settle our differences another time. I'm busy right now helping my friends save this counselor so their summer camp won't be shut down. Oh, really? Well, if this counselor is what you want, come and get her. Help! Well, uh, it's getting later. I guess we should just, you know, go home now. No, she's our only chance at staying at camp. We have to save her again. Damn it, I knew you were going to say that. There's a carton in the mess hall. We'll need it to defeat the alien. Go get it and bring it back to me. Hurry!
Perfect. This is just what I need to destroy Mintberry Crunch. It's a trap! Your friend is under his mind control! You've taken everything from me, Crunch. Now I'm going to take everything from you. With this! Oh no. No! My kryptonite! It's gotta be whole milker, or 2% at the least. But first, I've taken possession of two of your strongest warriors. Get him, minions! Nah, he called us minions, boss. Nah, I don't think we're the main bad guys anymore. Shut up, Mimsy! We did it! We saved Kip from that evil alien! Hey, why did that guy hate you so much anyway? I don't know. That Zarganor and his parents used to be slaves in my family's berry mines on our home planet. Until he escaped. Oh, wait a second. Your family owned his family? Sure. How else do you think we picked all those cotton berries? Cotton berries? So he was a slave? Yes, and that's why they hated us. For our freedom. But with your help, I beat him like a runaway slave. And now, he's dead. Shabla-doo! Wow, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, that's one road you should probably steer clear of. Nothing good down that road. Sorry, every person over the age of two must purchase a meal at the register to get inside and experience the magic of Casa Bonita. Today's special is our all-you-can-eat deluxe dinner for the low price of $17 per person. Have a nice day. We have to find another way in. Think of something, Butlord. Karen doesn't have much time left. <laughs>